So for the last time in the 2019 Rotax Max Euro Trophy season, we go racing. This time to close out the action, as we did last season, it is DD2 and DD2 Masters. Your grid, for what will be an interesting 14-minute uh, plus an additional lap encounter, is as follows. Sander Triblak from Bougain Power, representing Belgium in the 422, is on the front row, and alongside will be Dan Holland Racing's uh, David Remy in the 455. Then it's Manuel Tenchup and Christian Sorensen on row number two, with Jakob Bezel in fifth, alongside Lukas Horsman. That rounds out the top three rows, with Oliver Peidenbach in the 432. Niklas Krenze doesn't look to be on the grid and is not taking any part in this final, I believe. So there's an open spot on uh, position eight. Completing the top ten, it's Jan Schwitter and Honi Gertler with Nico Jorg and Roberto Pajewski, who is on the verge of becoming the new champion in 2019 for Diddy 2 Masters. He starts on the outside of row number six, ahead of Marcel Steinert, Willi Willeleinen, Mark Bartels, Matthias Stahl, Dionysus Livris, Christoph Adams with Daniel Oberhäuter and Hernando Gremiger rounding out the top 20 positions. And rounding out the 26 strong, it is Tanyu Yildiz, Konrad Bayer, Jiri Matajek, Florian Breitenbach, Slavomir Maransky, and Michael Becker. So the red lights are on the starting gantry for one final time here. Just a quick reminder, there is a raffle uh, taking place that all drivers have been entered into, and there are some prizes to give away here this very afternoon. So if you are here, please remain behind for the podiums as if your number is called, you will win one of several prizes, including a free race entry into one selected round for next year's season, where we've just confirmed the new calendar and much more. The drivers now, someone's got their hand up a little bit further down the order. So uh, let's just see what happens. We get the lights out for one final time here in Germany as Schiblack uh, gets very defensive very quickly as uh, looks like Manuel Tencher's got up the inside of David Remy, who's now dropped down to fifth, maybe even make that sixth by, uh, oh, that's fifth place, down at uh, turn number four. And just in head, just ahead of the uh, of him. So we've got Zander Trivac leading. Second place looks to be Manuel Tencher. Then in third, it is uh, Jakob, yeah, that's Jakob Bezel in the 401 that's made his way up into third place. Head of Christian Sorensen, David Remy, Rounds out the top five at the minute. And has just got the 4-3-4 uh, four, four of uh, Lucas Horsman just behind. Followed by the uh, 432 of Oliver, uh, Oliver Peidenbach. Honi Gottler, Roberto Pajewski, Marcel Scheinert ran out the overall top ten with Pajewski leading the DD2 Masters class. Second in that at the moment. All the way down in 15th percent, uh, place is the triple five of Christoph Adams. Is Reinaldo Greminger ran about a tenth and a half behind uh, the, uh, the triple five, as there is an almighty scrap going on all the way down from uh, the front of the field to the back of the field. There's some great battles happening up and down the order. So, Shibalak still leads, Tencher still second, Sorensen third, four zero one which is uh, Jakob Bezel now down into fourth position. So Christian Sorensen's made the move up into third place. And Sorensen going side by side with Tenshirt, heading down across the start finish line into turns one, two and three. Can't get past the Austrian quite yet. Whereas the Czech driver in the form of Jakob Bezel trying to think of a move up the inside of uh, Sorensen for the third. Had to back out of it and that pushed him back towards David Remy. Just behind him is the 4.34 of uh, Lukas Horstmann and Ronnie Gödler has just got past the 432 of Oliver Breitenbach. Four position, that's for seventh place on the road. And uh, Breitenbach looks to have lost that, maybe another couple of places, maybe even to Vili Vili line in this far as David Remy going nigh on side by side with the 434 of Horstmann. As for sixth place and just behind, there is uh, one driver definitely going side by side with. Uh, there were two drivers going side by side a little bit further down the order and one of them is the 499 of Bonnie Gertlow who's got past Horseman. Willi Leinen, the Finnish driver in the 416 just behind and there was a very, very hairy moment there for Jan Schritter going through turn two at the back part of the field as uh, 
just saw whether there was uh, a motion from uh, Bezel to Tensha just behind them there in third and fourth respectively as the top two starting to break away. It's between Schriblack and Sorensen as we've got just under 11 minutes remaining plus an additional lap in the season to go here. As uh, Remy goes up the inside of Tensher, who instantly counterattacks and retakes the position. That's fourth. So the Swede started on the front row. He's having to battle with Manuel Tensher for what is third place on the road. And, he's, and Tensher's just basically said to Remy, come on, work with me. And Remy's having none of it and trying to go up the inside through into turn three. All oh, that pushes Tensher a little bit wide. And Gertler is waiting to pounce, and the pair of them got through relatively unscathed as the leaders changed as Sorensen gets past Triblack, tries to, who tries to counter-attack through the exit of turn six, but the 425 makes his way past and takes the lead. So Christian Sorensen now takes the lead with just over 10 minutes remaining from Zonda Triblack. And we've then got the 401 of Jakob Bezel. So he's going to go down to the wire. What's happening in DD2? Mar in, and in DD2 Masters, Roberto Pajewski is still leading. As there's a little bit of a bump from behind on somebody. Looks to be on the 412 there. Which is Matthias Dahl, who got a little bit of a bump from behind there from Nico Jorg, I believe. As Sorensen now trying to pull away from Zander Triblack. The gap was just over three and a half tenths of a second as they completed. Uh, lap number five. We're now on to lap six here as uh, Dionysus Livris is getting very, very aggressive indeed is the Greek driver with Danes Racing. He's uh, tried to make his way up the order and he started down in 17th position and he's now into the top 10 as there's a little bit of a tussle there, one of which was uh, David Remy, the other one was 416 of Vili Vililainen and here comes the 410 of Mark Bartels coming into the party too. And he's right on the back bumper of Vili Vili Line, and he gets a slight nudge from behind. So front fairing on rear bumper. Bartels better be careful, otherwise if, if that front fairing is found to be non-compliant, he'll get an instant five-second penalty uh, post-race. Now uh, Christian Sorensen has extended the lead. The fastest lap of the race thus far, Manuel Tencher in fourth position. 49.910 with Ronnie Gottler not that far behind with a 49.944. So those are the only two drivers out of the entire field uh, the entire 25 grid uh, driver grid that is still circulating thus far as we've got one car I think uh, was looking a little bit slow there and that is as Christoph Adams so he's yeah, so uh, Christoph Adams now at the back part of the field, which means that Roberto Pajewski is just eight or so minutes away from uh, taking the second in or second title in the DD2 Masters class. As Slavomir Mananski just keeping an eye on his progress. He's seven and a half seconds off of the leaders. He is in 17th place. And he is just behind Michael Becker by about just over three and a half tenths of a second. As Moransky and uh, Becker just come into my line of sight through turn eight into the right at turn nine, through into the left at turn ten they go. As uh, Sorensen now trying to control what's happening at the front of the field, as Triblack now uh, goes sub fifty for the first time this race, forty nine 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 zero. He's going to try and close up that gap, and it is now it has been closed to forty two a uh, forty nine nine two eight. So he was just under two tenths quicker than Christian Sorensen, and he is looking menacing right now as they come through into the left-hander at turn five, into the hairpin at turn six, and then it's the blast into the triple right-hander at seven, eight, and then nine. Whereas Jakob Bezel is having to fight with Manuel Tenchard over third place. And just behind them is Ronnie Goodler, who's about seven tenths of a second adrift off Manuel Tenchard in fourth position. Billy Billy Lionin looking a little bit lonely now in sixth place ahead of David Remy. Then we got Mark Bartels, Dionysus Liveris now up into ninth place and moving forward at a great pace there. He's just on his personal best of a 49.883. And uh, so there's a little bump from behind. I think that was on the 4.13. And that is uh, Marcel Steinert as on the Schriblack trying to go for the lead on Christian Sorensen. 
as Sorensen gets the cut back through into the approach into turn five. Now Jakob Bezel enters the fray, as does Manuel Tenchert once again. Bonnie Gertler now has the ringside seat. It depends on what happens with the three, four, three to four carts that are in front. As Sorensen just trying to mitigate that gap. It has come down over the last couple of laps from about half a second to just under two tenths. So five minutes, 47 to go. And uh, that's a real shame for Oliver Breidenbach, who has now uh, parked it, I believe, and is no longer circulating. Sander Trivlak coming under pressure now from the 401 of Jakob Bezel. So the Czech Republic driver trying to get a motor on, get past uh, Trivlak, and maybe try even to go after Christian Sorensen. But Tension and Gertler are uh, seven tenths of a second, respectively, and just over 1.1 seconds, respectively, off of the main leader. As there was a nice little move there from Lucas Horsman, I pick up the inside of Mark Bartels on the exit of turn number six. Uh, Sorensen now has a bit of daylight. Jakob Bezel has got past under Schublach. So that's a change for second position. So the battle has been between the pair of them after the uh, start of today's action as Manuel Tension also gets past. And there goes the 499 of Honey Gödler. He's going to try and go up the inside of Manuel Tension through turn 13. Can't make it stick. Gives the advantage back to Sander Schriblak. As the pair go nigh on side by side. And Schriblak back now into what is fourth position. And back up the inside of Tension. He goes to take third place. Tension attacks. Goes round the outside of the Belgian into turn number five. This is now allowing not just Honey Gödler, but now Vili Vili Leinen in there. So David Reming having a difficult race is down in seventh position thus far as Christian Sorensen's extended his gap over Jakob Bezel to 0.682 of a second. He did a 49.869, whereas Dionysus Liveris is absolutely fine. The Greek driver in the 4.56 is trying to close on David Remy. He's about five and a half tenths of a second of drift off the Swede and has just been in a 49.6 as there's more bumping and barring bumping and boring going past us under Triblack. Vili Vililainen, I think he's just got up into fourth place, has he? He has. Triblack now up into fifth place. As Bonnie Gutler lost out to the pair of them through turns 13 and 14. Uh, Sorensen's lead over Jakob Bezel now goes to 0.69 of a second. Three minutes 45 plus an additional lap to close out the 2019 season. So Sorensen has a clear lead over Jakob Bezel, Manuel Tenchert holding station in third. And then from there, it is Villelainen followed by Schriblak, followed by Gertler, followed by Remy now. And here comes the charging Greek Minotaur that is DJ Liris or Dionysis. He's now up into eighth. And whilst the, the seven have been battling in front, he's just been making steady progress forward as uh, the uh, 432 of Oliver Breidenbach now is confirmed as no longer taking any further part in this race. Leaders come across the start finish line gap between Sorensen and Bezel. Now just over seven and a half tenths, 0.774. And Dionysus Libris goes and sets another fastest lap of the race, 49.528. As Remy goes up the inside uh, to take position from, looks like Connie Goodluck. As Libris now on the back of the 499. Looking to get into, I would think, probably at least the top seven, maybe even make that the top five. There is still time for him to do that. As uh, Sorensen continuing just to control proceedings. Once he hit the front, he just decided, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pull away. And Bezel has had a really good fight back from fifth on the grid. Uh, even with the, uh, the trials and tribulations he's had this weekend. But to uh, be second at the moment with two minutes and 21 remaining, plus that additional lap. So now the top eight separated by just over 2.6 seconds as the uh, top eight now uh, start to make their way through turn eight. So Liveris makes his exit out of uh, turn four as uh, Sorensen goes through the exit of turn number six. And uh, all of the top six, well, well, six, seven of the top eight have just gone sub 14, uh, 50 seconds apart from Ronnie Gutler. So Liveris clearly got the bit between the teeth. One minute 44, plus an additional lap to go. Sorensen has got a lead of now eight tenths of a second. This is going to allow the likes of Bezel, Tenchat, and Vili Leinen uh, to do their utmost in trying to catch the leader. The leader, I don't think Scott going to be having any problems anytime soon because his lead is now nearly a second. 0.953 for Christian Sorensen, Jakob Bezel in second. 
Manuel Tenchert in third. In fourth, it's Vili Vililainen. Belgian Zander Shrivlak in fifth place. Ahead of David Remy and Vonnie Goodlart with Dionysus Slivris rounding out the top eight. And it's Lukas Horsman, Mark Bartels, Roberto Pajewski still leads the DD2 uh, class Masters classification in this race. Second is the, 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 the driver who is going to be the outgoing champion this year, Slavomir Moransky, who's down in 16th place. Marcel Steinert and uh, Florian Breitenbach uh, ran at the top 13 with Nico Jorga and Matthias Dahl uh, running at the top 15 overall on the road. So we're into the last 40 seconds of the season. This is now the penultimate lap of the race. Sorensen has a lead of 0.838 seconds ahead of Jakob Bezel in the 401. Manuel Tenshirt and Vili Vililainen with Zander Triblak running at the top five. It could get a little bit closer in the next lap and a half or so. But Sorensen has done enough to keep himself at that point where he can claim a victory here at Wackersdorf. So as uh, the leader now exits turn number 11 for the, the penultimate time, the timer stops now. That is it. 2019, the season is done. We've got this couple of corners, turn 13, turn 14. Then it's one more lap, just over 1,200 meters for Christian Sorensen, who gets his head down, extends the gap between himself and Jakob Bezel to now what is just over nine and a half tenths as they go into turn four for the final time. And Dionysus Livris has got past Honey Goodler for seventh position. It's gonna run out of time as the Greek driver from Dames Racing in the 456 to try and get into the top five. But through turn 10 for the final time comes the number 425 of Christian Sorensen. Two more hairpins and two more right-hand corners before punching the throttle down hard to come across the finish line because, ladies and gentlemen, the final checkered flag of the 2019 Rotax Max Euro season is going to wave and it's for the 425 of Christian Sorensen who punches the air with one hand with victory. Jakob Bezel takes second, Manuel Tenscher takes third, ahead of Vili Vililainen with Zander Schriblak taking fifth at the flag, having started from pole position. And in the DD2 Masters class, I think provisionally speaking, congratulations to our new champion who I think will be, well, the thing is, is Roberto Pajewski actually parked it a couple of laps to go, but he might have just done enough. We'll wait for official confirmation, but Christian Sorensen takes the win, absolutely jubilant in victory here at Wackersdorf to close out the season in style. Jakob Bezel from the Czech Republic takes second, ahead of Manuel Tenchert. Vili Vililainen takes fourth, ahead of Sander Schriblak from Belgium. David Remy, Dionysus Liveris, Oni Gertla, Lukas Horsman, and Roberto Pajewski. Uh, well, Pajewski has uh, come across the line apparently in 10th place. Weiden, uh, Florian Breidenbach in uh, 11th ahead of Mark Bartels, Marcel Steiner, Nico Jorg, uh, Matthias Stahl, Slavomir Moransky, Michael Becker, Daniel Oberhoiter, Jiri Matajek, Renaldo Gremiger, Konrad Bayer finishing in 22nd ahead of Christoph Adams and Tanya Yildis rounding out the 24 that finished with Niklas Grains not starting the race and Oliver Breidenbach uh, retiring.